Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Patriotic Av, and we are here with a uh, a new reaction video. This is Zombified by Falling in Reverse. I don't know too much about Falling in Reverse. I heard some of their songs. Uh, it's pretty good from what I've heard. Uh, but my friend of mine said, like, hey, I knew you like Tom McDonald stuff, some more political uh, type videos, so you might like this song. Um, he says it's apparently about cancel culture. Um, so we're just going to dip right into it. Let's go. And here we go. It's very cinematic looking. It's like a movie. your bed cause they are the voices in your head Zombified by the lies they said we become the walking dead I was say it, but we've become the walking dead and they have that uh, uh, Uncle Sam photo which instead of I want you for the US Army I want your brains you know it's um that's what happened with a lot of the fake news a lot of the Bull crap out there, you know they they've uh, forced people to become the Walking Dead, a, a herd of zombies, just believing all their lies, believing all their bullshit. Um, it's a shame that a lot of people believe what they hear on the news. You know, um, Fox News is not your friend, CNN is not your friend. Um, do your own research. I know that uh, according to uh, who was that? Brian Steltzer, Steltzer, I don't know how you say his name, uh, on CNN said it's a bad thing. Do your, no, do your own research. Think for yourself. The elites don't like that. The government doesn't like that. That's what I say. I want your brains. They want your mind. They want, they want to be able to control you every step of the way. And they hate it when they can't. Something you said ten years ago. They're canceling, canceling. Yeah, so, like I mean, they they're always looking into somebody's past. You know, it's like I was never a fan of it when it was right or left. Like depending on the politician, you know, it's like they're always looking in the person's past. Like, oh, they did this when they were in their twenties. They did this when they were in their teens. Like, who cares? We've all done things and said things that we shouldn't do when we were younger. People could change and change very quickly. I've seen personally. If we're going to judge everybody for when they were in their teens or their 20s or whatever, um, there's a lot of people that should be canceled then, according to their angle. Um, it's it's crazy always looking in, looking into people's past. It's like the first thing that happens. I found this tweet or something they did or said X amount of years ago, cancel them, fire them. And the people saying it, they're not innocent. Everybody listening right now is not innocent. Everybody's done something or said something that they wish they didn't do at some point. Everybody. There's no exceptions. And don't act like you're innocent. I don't care who you are. White or black, gay or straight. Republican, Democrat. Some kind of halvesies. There's no exception. Everybody's done or said something that they wish they didn't. She is a real person, the reflection. Is she... Hang on, let's go back. Is she seeing what she used to be like? Like, hey, before I was brainwashed, before, uh, you know, the elites and the media took me over, this is what I used to be like. 
and she's regretting it now. See, look at what I become. Short tongue, cause you don't wanna piss off anyone. We're traumatized by the damage done. Welcome to America. Uh-huh. Uh, like the uh, Pacific War uh, popular photo. So we were holding on the flag. Oh no, the never let go. Something you said 10 years ago. There are kids on the Oh! That's right. Cancel culture is a bad thing. It's like with the whole Joe Rogan thing going on. They're like, we're not can we're not cancel culture. What are you talking about? We're just threatening people. We're saying we're gonna beat the freaking crap out of you unless you do what we say. Unless you fire this person. Unless this person walks away from the job or their their lives are destroyed. The, but we're not canceling though. We're not. We're not. We're, the company's making their own choice. We're just saying if you don't fire this person, we're going to beat the shit out of you. But we're not cancel culture. That's not a thing. Cancel culture is not a thing. But again, if you don't do this thing that we want, we're going to kill you. It's amazing. They're bringing new UFOs into it. Oh, we got aliens. I love that mic. It's awesome. I want it. I think it might get worse. When will it ever stop? I think we're going to get like, you guys remember that movie Equilibrium with Christian Bale where they pretty much, uh, everything is like, uh, chrome. You know, it's like a SpongeBob episode. Everything's chrome. They all take that shot so they don't feel any emotion. And then later they, they find uh, hideouts where they had like the Mona Lisa and like iconic like pictures and art uh, from back in the day. It's like they pretty much erased everything. I think that's what the leftists want. They, because you, everyone says, you know, it's both sides. And you got to, you know, you got to call it both sides when you got to, but. You got to know where the cancel culture is coming from in order to fight it. It's coming from the left, not from the right. It's true. The cancel culture is coming from the left. They want to destroy everything. They want to bring everything down. The social justice. Um, and if we don't stop, we're going to be like that movie Equilibrium. Where, uh, I think they would love that. They would love a, a, a vaccine or something to uh, knock out all emotion. Then everybody's just mind controlled and they do everything. They're zombified. I gotta watch that movie again, man. Whether you guys had it, he made a lot of good points about cancer culture and about how it's destroying society. Um, that was a fantastic video. That was one of the best videos I've ever seen. Wow. Uh, great video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it all. Um, and make sure you guys like and subscribe for my channel. I do greatly appreciate it. It does help out a lot. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, and we will uh, we will see you guys next time. God bless and peace out.